Hi there everyone, welcome to yet again another Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel and within this video I'm going to be teaching you how to add custom enchantments to items in Minecraft. So the reason why I'm doing this tutorial or actually doing an updated version of this tutorial is because Minecraft has changed slightly. So Minecraft 1.20.5, one of the, the most recent updates for Minecraft, actually changed how certain data is stored in items and blocks. So the game now uses data components when setting certain data, and that does affect enchantments on items. So that's why I'm redoing this tutorial. So I'm going to be teaching you two ways, two examples of how to do custom items with custom enchantments in Minecraft. So this first command right here, when we actually use this, it gives us the item straight away and gives us a Neverite sword with level 100, sharpness, and loyalty. So those are two random enchantments I selected to add to this sword, as you can see right there. And this second command is very similar. This one summons an item entity. So as you can see, there is a floating item here. So this item entity is summoned or spawned into the world here. And if we pick this up, it's going to be the exact same as the first command we just did. So one is a direct give command. The other one actually generates the item entity in the first place. So essentially what we're doing here is we are using the new enchantments data components in Minecraft in order to get this effect to work and for it to actually work in Minecraft 1.20.5 and above. So I'm currently in Minecraft 1.20.6 as of this video and the, the syntax is correct for this. So I'm now gonna show you in a text editor the command is pretty straightforward and I'm gonna try and highlight the new data components that are being used for these custom enchantments. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here, and these are the two commands I was using in this video. These commands will be in the description of the video as well, so you can copy and paste them into your Minecraft and have a look at them. But um, this first command right here is a direct give command, and as you can see here, we're doing slash give our username, and then we're doing Minecraft colon neverite sword. So that is the item ID that we are trying to give to the player. And this is the item that we want to attach the enchantment data components. So you may notice that this is the new syntax we have to do in Minecraft. So after the item ID, we have some square brackets right here. And inside of here, we have the data components, the new data components. So within these square brackets, we have this particular Minecraft colon enchantment. So this is the enchantments data component. And inside of here, we have some curly brackets with some data tags inside. So we have a levels data tag. And within here, we have a dictionary of enchantments. So we have levels, and then we have the first one right here, Minecraft colon sharpness, and we are setting it to 100 and then we're doing comma and then Minecraft colon loyalty and then setting it to 100. So these values right here are the level numbers of the enchantment you want to set. So obviously I'm doing two enchantments for this item. So this levels has two entries inside, one for sharpness and one for loyalty. And that is it for the give command. This second command is summoning the item entity itself into the world, and then the player can pick it up. This is very, very similar, and I'm gonna show you this right now. So we're doing a slash summon command. We are summoning a Minecraft item entity like so. These are just relative coordinates, which spawns the item two blocks above the command block, so you can change this to whatever you want. And within here, we have some data tags we want to assign to the item entity. So we have an item data tag. Uh, this sort of stuff is very similar to what it was before. 
We are setting an item ID to be Minecraft colon Neverite Sword. So we're setting the item ID of the of the item entity here. We are then doing count one. So that just makes sure that the item stack is one big. So we're, do, we're doing one item in this case. And then we've got comma, and then we have components. So we have a components data tag here. And inside of here, we have Minecraft colon enchantments. And then we again, we have the levels enchantment dictionary here. So we have levels and then exactly the same as the command above. We have sharpness set to 100 and loyalty set to 100. So these commands are very similar to each other, but they do slightly different things. And hopefully you can now use this to do other enchantments you want to do using commands. But essentially, this is it, the new enchantment data components in Minecraft. All right, everyone, that's about it for this tutorial right here. Hopefully this has helped you out for custom enchantments in Minecraft and adding them to items. If you did learn something new, then a like, subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure that you hit notification bell to stay notified of any future videos here on the channel. If you want to follow my socials, they're on screen and in the description. And if there's any other tutorials you want me to do, especially for the new update, Minecraft 1.20.5 and above, especially for anything command related, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will get to it as soon as possible if I think the tutorial would be a good idea to do. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Hope you have a nice day. Stay happy and healthy as always. And bye-bye.